<laughs> Hello and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. First, some Jeskai control. We're finally getting to the Jeskai deck that is featuring Drawn from Dreams. Uh, at the end of last week, we played a couple other Drawn from Dreams decks. Uh, we played Sultai uh, there, and of course we played Is It before. Um, I feel like there's one other one that I am missing right now. Um, but yeah, we've been just kind of trying out this card and seeing exactly where to put it, where it fits. Because it's a really powerful card, this four mana sorcery. Gives you a lot of card selection. Um, just a just a very solid card. So we're going to be trying it in Jeskai today, where Jeskai has a few good things going for it. One, it's got Deafening Clarion, which this card is just awesome in the metagame right now. It's basically a three mana sweeper. A lot of the creatures, it kills you know a lot of creatures in the format, especially very good against like the the lands that Nissa makes and everything. It's just a very solid card. So we got Deafening Clarions in here that we can like play and clear up the battlefield so that we're not under as much pressure whenever we are playing Drawn from Dreams. Also, we have Little Teferi, which allows your sorcery spells to be cast as though they had flash. So we can make Drawn from Dreams an instant, so we can keep up whatever we need to and cast Drawn from Dreams instant speed, which is very nice. And then, of course, we have Ral Storm Conduit, which can minus two and then copy our next instant or sorcery. So we can copy Drawn from Dreams and cast two of them. And that's a lot of card advantage. That's just looking at seven, taking two, looking at the next seven, taking two more. So pretty excited to try this, this little deck out. Uh, we're going to be playing it over in Ranked, see how it goes over there, uh, and trying it out. How viable is this deck without Big Teferi is the question, and honestly, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how viable the deck is just in general. You know, We're going to be trying it out here, um, and so without Big Teferi, I'm not sure. Big Teferi is a very, very good card. Um, I, as you can tell here, I got some Blood Suns over here because this past weekend there were just so many Scapeshift decks. That did well everywhere, so we're going to be trying out some Blood Suns to try to stop some Scape Shift, or try to stop some Field of the Dead. So we got some of those in there. And let's give this a try. Just got control. Alright, we'll play it over in Ranked. Dinsum! <laughs> hey, it's all good. Thanks for that resub there. Rotating on in. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks, three man. Yeah, I think Blood Sun's better than Alpine Moon. Because Blood Sun also against you know, because it stops all, all the cards, so it's it's not like you just name like Field of the Dead and then you're good, because then they have Blast Zone and they just they just use Blast Zone to blow it up. So it stops Blast Zone, stops uh, against Nexus, it stops, you know, like Flipped as Kanta and Blast Zone. And of course it replaces itself, it draws a card. So that's pretty nice too. You know, it's it's at worst, it's a three mana cycler. The goal of the deck is to, I don't know, kill our opponent. Be, you know, we're a control deck. Uh, it's our win con. Um, just the, the Planeswalkers. Expansion Explosion. Kefnet attacking. Man, I really like Shock Clarion and, like, three lands. The fourth land, I don't mind either. It's just, we're basically a six-card hand. We don't really need the fifth land. I don't think I... Hmm. If we're playing the wrong matchup where Shock Clarion are not good, though, this this is just a dead hand. All right, yeah, we're going to ship it. London Mulligan rule just makes it mulliganing a lot better. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about how we also have expansion to go along with Drawn from Dreams, because expansion and Drawn from Dreams together is pretty sweet. Being able to... That's another way to be able to copy Drawn from Dreams. That's a good one. Yeah, we got our power back on. Yeah, Escanto was maybe our best draw there. Let's get the blue kitty. All 
All right, looking for land. We'll keep it. Yeah, we could do, yep, we can do the Ral expansion combo to kill people in this deck. Yep, certainly can. Yeah, you need two expansions. An open mind. Yep. Yeah, you just you just need Ral in play, and then be able to cast an expansion targeting anything, and then cast another expansion. Guardian to ride the lightning. So really hoping for no Teferi here. Really hoping we get to on top with Ral. No big Teferi, that is. Hmm. And there's a reaction, and you are not gonna like this one. All right, let's look for some cards. Peace. I'm out. I have reached my limit. All right, we'll take this to fairy and the lava coil, and then we'll take a land. I guess just cliff top retreats and veto or little to fairy. Yeah, veto could definitely be nice. Um, if they have big to fairy and they like play big to fairy and minus, then I, like I would I would like shock, I suppose. You think I should take three mana to fairy? No, I don't really need three mana to fairy. So the question is if I coil this bell haunt or hold up veto, and I think I hold up veto. Even though that means that the Ral gets hit here. Come on. Big Teferi is certainly a really scary card. Alright, whatever, I'll just counter that thing. It's not likely that they have Elder Spell in their deck, right? People aren't really playing Elder Spell these days, right? So I guess most people aren't really playing Bell Haunt right now, though, either. So what I want to do here is cast Teferi and Lava Coil. I need to have a, a land on top, of course, that I play Teferi, tick up, draw a land, and then coil. 
Yeah, definitely Elder Spell sideboard, but I'm not I'm not thinking that they have it main deck. But maybe they do. Who knows? Guild Mage, Planeswalker, Genius Inventor. I got Bleh, it. All. That's a good card. Yeah, maybe I just go coil and as Kanta or Drawn from Dreams. Since we didn't since we didn't see the land there, I'm not gonna go to Fairy. Plus coil. No, I wanna wait on Drawn from Dreams to be able to minus two. And copy it. So let's let's just ask Kanta. I do want land drops though, and that's what Drawn from Dreams does is help me hit land drops. But we can be patient. There were all the lands right there. This lightning strikes a lot more than twice. Okay, let's take the Ascanta and a Steam Vents. Definitely want Kefnet. And a Shock or Sulphur Falls. A Sulphur Falls. Um, hey, Landry Hunt. Yeah, our card draw is pretty awesome. Draw from Dreams is just insane. Um, all right, saving. Oh, yeah, I don't target. My experiments but, uh, are mostly successful, except for that. Uh, I mean, I, I do want lands. Saving the op to be able to play on their turn after having Kefnet in play. If you wish to surrender now. Yeah, I actually had like a Niv Miz in the sideboard before putting the Blood Sun in. Yeah, the Narset's dead. There's another Teferi over there. Can't have too many cards in hand. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. Rough life, I know. Hmm. So explosions like is gonna kill him. I'm gonna take the explosion. And then, like, both these Teferis are certainly good. Looks like this one. And now I'm probably just taking some lands. 
Uh, give me this and I don't know. I guess shock. We need to start killing our opponent. They did. Ugh. All right, pretty sweet looking game there. So much card advantage. But now, like you could tell our opponent was just sitting with like dead removal in hand, right? Like that whole time. So like we were, our life was pretty good because they just had a bunch of dead removal. So now the, the real test is going to be them not sitting with dead removal, what it's going to look like. Now that they get to tune their deck to try to beat mine. So we didn't see any hero, but we can kind of assume that they have hero since they had Bell Hunt. I'm thinking Star of Extinction if they get ahead on like the Planeswalkers and everything. Uh, also destroys a flip desk Kanta. Coil takes out Bell Haunt. I'm just one Clarion. No, nah, I don't have any war boss or anything cool like that. Maybe I just play one Star of Extinction or just one Lava Coil. Maybe I don't play all these Vetoes. I don't know. Shock seems like it's really good, but maybe maybe I got to cut a Shock. All right, we'll cut a Shock. Shock does a lot of things. You know, it takes out Hero Precinct 1, takes out um, like Little Teferi that minus, lets us cast Instance and stuff. Yeah. Um, sculpted mind, I would so one, it's it's really hard for me to suggest like you know, if you if you're building one deck, what deck should it be? Because it it's really hard to say. Um as far as the decks that I have that I would be the most confident in as far as like uh, winning a lot of matches and telling somebody else to make to win matches, the one I'm probably the most confident in would be the Gruul midrange deck we played on Sunday. That's a, a very solid deck. And so that's what I would recommend there. Replace Star of Extinction. If you have to replace Star of Extinction, um, could just go with like a another hard sweeper, you know, like Cleansing Nova, Time Wipe kind of thing. It doesn't take out like the thing. The reason why Star of Extinction is so good is because it takes out Nissa and all the Nissa lands and everything. Um, so it's it's really in here because of the power of Nissa. So without without Star of Extinction, you're going to be a little weak to Nissa. And so, uh, whatever, whatever good Jeskai answers there are to Nissa, which I'm not exactly sure what there is there. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. I'm known for my excellent. Keep up the pace. I'm someone they're gonna mine us. And we'd be able to shock to fairy. Let's 
try this. Not gonna explosion for one, right? No time for a break. Talk about um I wanna copy duress. And they take one of these things, and they take like Star of Extinction. Guess so. And that would have been a lot better for me if they would have just cast the Noxious Grasp first. If they didn't have Duress, they Noxious Grasp my Teferi, and I get to copy Noxious Grasp to kill their Teferi. That would have been nice. Shock, copy Shock to just do four damage to Teferi isn't really that wasn't. It's not really worth two cards, just taking four loyalty off of Planeswalker. That's not worth two cards. Especially a card like Explosion that the next turn... Like, next turn, I, I would have just done Explosion for two. I would have just drawn two cards and dealt two damage. We didn't draw anything else better. Yeah, the, the best thing about Niv-Mizzet... Like, Niv-Mizzet's not really that good against Esper. Uh, the the best thing, because of, like, the, these Teferis are just so good against Niv-Mizzet. The best thing with Niv-Mizzet is against the the new Simic Flash deck. It is quite good there. <clears throat> so that's brought uh, Niv-Mizzet's stock up some. It wasn't... It wasn't very high. Never meant that stock that is was not very high at all in War of the Spark standard, but it's it's a little better this standard format than what it was last standard format. Well, Lava Coil deals damage to creatures. Can't can't do damage to to planeswalkers. Hurry. I know. My responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. That's really unfortunate. That always seems to happen. You draw a good card the same turn they, they have like their counter spell. Or they they have their discard spell. That's really unfortunate. Every time they, they slow down and stop you and draw step, you you draw like a really good card right then. You know what? I'm not done yet. Well, we had all sorts of good cards last time because the Drawn from Dreams helping, uh, helping us like find like really good cards all the time, but not so much this game. Here goes nothing. All right, the Thought Razor during my draw step. I'm just gonna concede. really don't like Ixalan's binding in this matchup. And whether it gets disparked 
or they have like the little teferis and everything. The, the big mistake I made there was countering the Narset. I should have just let the Narset resolve and shock Narset. And uh, then I would have had a counter spell for Teferi. All right, we're going to need need to draw a little better. Instead of drawing eight lands and like the only kind of kind of card advantage source being little to fairy that we have there with our eight lands. We're going to need to find some draw from dreams and Kefnet and Big to fairy and Ral. Even Narset, all that kind of stuff. I see Star of Extinction late, not not like opening hand and them just have us them just discard the Star of Extinction before we get to clear up a battlefield like that. Thought Erasure sounds like a practice that Demir agents used at the behest of Azorius judges as part of the criminal's punishment. I could see that. I could see that. Uh, we'll be putting expansion back. Yeah, we got our fish through time. Hey, Jelly. Looks like they got a close one. Either that or they went to go get their pizza out of the oven. Those are the only two options. I'm thinking pizza for how long this has taken. We can admire some of the art from these cards. That's a good one. I like this this land. That's that's some good art there. Whoa, Arik Jelly with the Tuesday power back on cheer hype. Thanks, Arik Jelly. All right. Where's the how is your pizza emote? <laughs> Why is that not an emote? Oh, I didn't switch to we need the blue. Yeah, blue kitty. We had blue kitty the first game and it was working out for us. And then switched to blue kitty game 2 and then we lost. Thank me later. That's more like it. Right on schedule. Trust me, I have a plan. You ready to go toe to toe with me? I've got Please, no elder spell. Ride the lightning. Oh, just made your own pizza? Lucky. You had mod pizza? 
I don't think I've ever heard of Mod Pizza. Don't kill my Rowl. I need my Rowl. What are you doing looking at my Rowl? You... You do your own thing over there. Don't kill Rowl. It's thin crust. No. Uh. Then you repeat the experiment. No. I have a plan. That is really, really unfortunate. Man, the Rowl, just like last, you know, last game they didn't have removal for Rowl, and we just took over. Rowl is going to be ta taking over this game too. Stand by and watch. No, Elder Spell is terrible. You just let me know it's not so good. Round two. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Don't have big Teferi. Gosh, what a hand. Uh, little Teferi, Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell, Big Teferi. This one oh, what a hand. Hurry. Every turn they had the worst possible thing for me. Them having little Teferi also, so I didn't get to hold up Dovin's Veto. And then them having Elder Spell plus Noxious Grasp. There, and now Big Teferi. Just all the, just <laughs> every card that was the worst possible for me to see. Thought. Yeah, this game's likely over. You just can't. It's hard to compete with Teferi drawing cards every single turn. I can no longer stand by and watch. Here we go. Darn. I was feeling pretty good about the game. Uh, yeah, that pizza does look really good. I was feeling pretty good about the game whenever we played our little Teferi and what our hand looked like, but that was the... Ever since then, what our opponents did was the absolute worst possible for us. Yeah, I mean, es Esper, Esper wins Planeswalker battles. I guess we could top tech Star of Extinction. Because, um, you know, like, they have they have a discard and Elder Spell. So discard and Elder Spell win other Planeswalker battles. Yeah. I don't have, like, th those are the key difference. Key differences they have discard elder we spell need I don't. To move quickly. Don't worry, I got this. Alright, well we're not being the second to fairy in their hand still. But even with that being said, I still liked our chances there unless they had basically exactly what they had. But they had everything I didn't want to see. You know, even with, you know, they just had Elder Spell. If we got to untap with our big Teferi, you know, we were going to be doing okay. But they also had Noxious Grasp to go along with Elder Spell. And then they had big Teferi to follow that up. It was just a perfect storm. So, GG.
I need blue mana. Or Clarion. And there's Clarion, so I'll take it. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm known for my excellent timing. That's more like it. I've got it. No, pineapple is very good on pizza. Pineapple is just good. Like, it's just... I think the people that... I It feels like... When people think that you can't put any kind of fruit on a pizza, that they just don't, they they just want to have that take instead idea. of enjoying delicious flavor. Uh, let's see. So Clarion is is very good to play here, right? Like it is. The only thing is, if I play Clarion, and then my opponent has Nissa, I'm in trouble. Where, if I play Rao instead, and then they have Nissa, I can start. I'm still, I'm still kind of in trouble. Nothing. Well, that was a good turn for us. I I th I feel like our opponent accidentally messed up. Like they meant to do two, you know, X is two, like such as like draw one card kind of thing. And it just kind of happened to be X is one. Like, I've done that before, you know, thinking, okay, we're going to draw one card. And so put X is one. And then you're like, oh, darn it, I meant to put X is two. And, like, the draw one kind of thing. It That happens. I've, I've done that before. Making this up as I go. In the mouth the Ooh, now we get instant speed drawn from dreams or clarions. I've got time. Hmm. I don't think I need to do instant speed clarion. I can let them hit one of these planeswalkers for a little bit. Let's copy. No, do not tap like that. Let's copy a dreams. Okay, so we're going to have Kefnet and Coil. Explosion's a really good one to have, but we'll try to find another one. I want to get this Kefnet in my hand, though. Veto and Teferi. So now there's Nissa. I'll veto it. No. All right, so no Nissa. So we just coil this Krasis. I think it's... It's kind of likely, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to I say it's it's pretty likely they're going to be playing a, a crisis for four here, 
and that my Cla my Clarion won't be able to kill. I think it's pretty likely they go land Krasis for four. Or they just have manipulation. Hmm. It's slightly annoying. It all built up to this. So I need a Tuck Rao, but then I also want another to land, I guess. Let's just see, hopefully we draw mana. Mm. Life would definitely be better if we had one more mana. I could let them have Rao for a turn, I suppose. They, they could manipulate again. That's, that's why I want Clarion. Or, sorry, I want Veto available. Alright, so Drawn from Dreams found us a land. Um... Like the gauntlets? <laughs> I built them myself. Send all the time. Here we go. Sorry I'm late. Not so fast. Alright, so I still have just a bunch of cards over there. This is only the second crisis. This game's not ending anytime soon. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen. I wonder why they're killing that fairy. You had to choose between a fibble thip to click on or the cat. What would you use? Probably the cat. You know what? I'm not done yet. Hmm. I wasn't really expecting Frilled Mystic, to be honest. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting Frilled Mystic. I wish I would have just led with Ascanta. They good chance that they just counter the Ascanta. I wish I would have just led with that. Draw from Dreams has been awesome. It's been one of the best cards in the deck for sure. The games that we've had Draw from Dreams have been doing really well. The games we haven't, we've been doing really bad. It's only a matter of time.
Six, seven, come on. Looks too big. So they likely have another Frilled Mystic available. Hey, Storm! Getting that gifted sub from the boot. Thanks, Santa Boot. Oh yeah, Drawn from Dreams is so much better than Comester's Insight. Whoa. All right, so we need to find our Star of Extinction. That's not it. Uh, these are not Star of Extinction. Um. Yeah, it does, doesn't matter what we take. Don't think. Double Clarion isn't going to do it. Mm. We were so close. I'm now one mana short because we had because we cast that opt. One mana short now. Been a year and a half since subbed. That's awesome. Thank you, Storm. Okay, so I, I mean, I could have, I, I likely could have won that game. You know, like going back and looking at it, I didn't realize that Frilled Mystic was going to be a big part of their strategy. And if I would have known that Frilled Mystic was a big part of the strategy, I would have not discarded my other Teferi Time Raveler. Uh, for instance, and I think I could have done, certainly done better there. Uh, but I I did not play the best against Frilled Mystic. I really didn't. But lesson learned. They're playing their own little Teferis. Gosh, that's too hard to sideboard. I 
All right, well, I didn't actually sideboard, so that's that's my bad. I ran out of time. I don't I don't think I'd want fight with fire over ex expansion explosion if you're looking like for a win con. I just have explosion. So obviously they have Frilled Mystic or other counter magic. We just want to kind of hit some land drops, keep pass and turn, look for interaction, interaction like that. Interaction for the stack. So that's four over there. Ugh. That hurts. That hurts. So basically, I want to fill the grave. You know, I want to get cards in the graveyard to flip Escanta. That's really like what what we kind of need here is is Escanta flipped. You show remorse, I'll show the strength. I've got it. It's unfortunate. No, Mastermind. I don't have any modern decks at all. I'm a full-time arena player. Take you out for good. Don't worry, now I won't what? rain on your parade. All right, I'll just clear up all these things.
As far as like a card to get for old mystics. Ooh. Right on schedule. I thought for sure they were just gonna have a frilled mystic there. To be honest. Yeah, actually, I should do this. Let's try this. I wasn't planning on bouncing that, but I right, we should do that. My brainstorms bring actual thunder and lightning. Mm. Okay. Shock is just a, a good card to have access to, especially with Storm with Rao Storm Conduit, just do some damage different places. Very cheap, very efficient. Slow this down. Time is much more malleable than people It's think. not a really good card to talk. For obvious reasons. Guild Mage, Planeswalker, Genius Inventor. I got it all. It's not ideal now, you know, like with Ixlon's Binding being able to take out Big Teferi. I wish I would have had my Ixalan's Binding side in. Hey, 19 feet. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Should have seen that coming. What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, and totally electrifying. Hmm. Um, yeah, I've, I've played a deck with, are, are you talking about pre, yeah, Priests of Forgotten Gods and Little Chandra? I've played those cards together. I won't hide from the world any reverse. Only time will tell. Play some... 
They look like a voracious Hydra. Darn. This deck's hard to play. I feel like I've made some poor decisions in different spots somewhere. I can't really just let them untap and have Nissa Crisis, right? I guess I just have to use Star of Extinction now. Didn't have counter magic a little while ago. Well, I mean, playing playing three mana to fairy and then playing Star of Extinction isn't really ideal because you just blow up your own three mana to fairy. So it's not like not like using three mana to fairy to protect Star of Extinction is something that's that's great. But yeah, I don't I don't have I didn't get to sideboard because I I took too long sideboarding, so I don't have like another Star of Extinction, so I'm I'm dead to this crisis. That certainly hurt not sideboarding. And yeah, looking looking back at it, keeping Especially keeping this second shock was not a good decision. See, so yeah, I didn't play the best that match. Uh, opponent really surprised me with with the Frilled Mystics game one, and then not sideboarding for game two really hurt. Yeah, of course Grixis can win against Teamer Elementals. Um, Ritual of Soot's a big a big part of it. Where are you at, land? There you are. Yeah, you need you need at least at the you need a minimum three ritual of sets in your deck in standard right now for Grixis control. You just can't play less than three. It's either three or four, but you, you can't play less than three. That was not a good auto tap. Yeah, I, I don't think Grixis is favored against Teamer Elementals. We're gonna... That's going to be a tough matchup. Uh, Disdainful Strokes, your best counter there, because it, it hits Omnath and Cavalier of Thorns. If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. No, I am not making this up as I go.
I already played a land. I've got time. Well, probably could have taken a better card than the land then. I've done the hero thing before. Why am I not just minusing this first? Don't worry, I got this. Yes, yeah, so they're they're playing Jeskai control with Crackling Drake, most likely Niv Mizzet also then. Niv Mizzet's gonna be the the really difficult again. card to deal with. Kefna's not an easy one either. That's more like it. That was an easy decision. If you show remorse, I'll show you need to slow down. So right now, we could Explosion for five next turn and draw five cards. Trust me, I have a plan. Keep up the pace. When I really want that to get countered, let's try... Let's just try shocking this to fairy a couple of times first. Enough. And we can save the explosion to be able to kill Kefnet. Four lands to the bottom. This might be a bad idea. Down, 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 down. Let's skip to the good part. Really don't want explosion countered. Let's just play this Teferi they know about. This isn't a fight you can win. No, we can't we can't play our counter spell. They have little Teferi in play. You need to take a time out. Ah! 
Star Extinction can be really clutch here. They don't have a counter spell. Blows up as Kanta, kills the Teferi, the Kefnet, everything. Let's try this. No, you can't play counter spells in your main phase, also, because you're still playing counter spells instant speed. So you still can't use counter spells. Come on, just tap out. Just play the Kefnet or something. Play land Kefnet. Ugh. Let's see what you got. This experiment has shocking repercussions. It's just three damage. I'm just gonna do it to Teferi again in case I know I'm doing way too much damage to Teferi, but in case it would get countered. So I dealt an extra three damage I didn't need to. Experiments are mostly successful, except for that. Yeah, explosion's pretty sweet. Maybe I should have just gone Star of Extinction last turn, and if they counter it, then I had that that Ral play the next turn. But right on schedule. I guess so. Let's take it back. I don't know. I felt Star Extinction was more important, and so I tried the with the Ral to get it, see if it got countered, but then it didn't. So then it's like, well, now I can't really Star of Extinction. Responsibility. Good part about Ascanta is that they, they tuck something, I can just Ascanta it back. So they, they really should be taken up and, and uh, untapping their Ascanta. I'm just going to leave the Rao there, actually. Let's activate Ascanta first and then put Rao back. Let's do that. I'm not ready for this quite yet. No time for a break. Oh, 
blow up this Ascanta. Alright, Fry. Veto, Veto, Star. I'm gonna take out Coil, Coil, Shock. A couple Clarions, I guess put the Shock back in. So if if I wouldn't have the two Blood Suns in the sideboard, I'd have one big Chandra, one Niv Mizzet. And having like a big Chandra and Niv Mizzet would be much more beneficial here. The settles and the cleansing nova, like maybe this is too much. Like the settles are really for aggro. Uh like the aggro decks, cleansing nova more for the green decks. For the the split on those two cards. Um I don't really need Justice Strike. I guess Justice Strike kills some Drakes, doesn't it? Let's play that instead of Shock. I'm keeping a Clarion in because they could have War Boss, so I'm just going to keep one Clarion. Uh, Justice Strike also kills Niv Mizzet, which they probably have. Also. I don't think Ix Ixalan's Binding is too good against the Teferi deck. This is definitely a hand that could lose, but it's also if we draw like a shock land, it's it's also a pretty good looking hand. But if we if we don't draw lands, you know, this, this is a hand that could lose. Like RS can't it gets countered and stuff like that. There we go, good draw. Hey good brother. Welcome back. But they have little Teferi to bounce it. You know, we have the shock to kill the little Teferi and replay it. Ooh, give me that. I am not going to sit this one out. I've got it. Speaking of that move now, they could go shock as Kanta and take out Teferi, but then we get to resolve Kefnet if they do that. So now we're all good unless they have big Teferi. Yeah, just give me another land. Um. Uh, Jund and Gruel both have like their their ups and downs, and of course they do have big Teferi. Not going to sit this one out. Obviously. You need to slow down. We'll work back towards that Kefnet. So the option is either to shock the Teferi and hold up Vito or play Ral and Shock. I'm gonna go Ral and Shock. No so line of science matter of time. Time. Just have Ral and play. Ral's cool. You like the gauntlets? <laughs> I built them myself. I'm doing really good, and Dragon. Hoogan's really annoying. I'm one card ahead of them in the flip as Kanta race.
Mm. This is tough. Against many foes if I if I counter that and they have Medicine. little Teferi, the balance is calf net, and they just get to keep around Ugin and, and little Teferi. Yep. Then I would have been in, in big trouble. Uh, you're not really doing anything. You're like bouncing there as Kanta. I don't think we want to bounce a token and just give them that card. I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe I do. I think I'm just going to graveyard you. Darn. Certainly hoping to have a spell to reveal off of Kefnet. So be it. Um, any new, up, any news or upgrades? Um, just, just like out of everything in general, uh, I guess scape shift is starting to be one of the most popular decks in standard or most successful, I guess. Maybe not most popular. We don't play against it still too much. Stop. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got time. Chandra can't be countered. My prowess is on. I have just the trick for this. I'm looking for Star of Extinction. That's what I'm looking for here. Not doing a very good job finding it. That was not ideal. Magic stuff. This might be a bad idea. Cannot see your folly. All right, Anyone fine scape shit or fine way, starve extinction. Come on, deck, you can do it. I've got well, I'm really glad they did that, not an emblem. You. Hey, Rice Prophet. Yep, yeah, definitely having a good day. One mana short. Now, of course, our opponent knows about it. I don't know if they can really... They don't have any, like, card draw, though, right now. So, like, if they don't have... I guess they have the Escanta. So they'd have the Escanta anyway. Don't worry. I got this.
Whoa, that worked. My mind needs a rest. No, I need to activate this as Kanta first. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right. Well, we still have a Chandra emblem. What did they shock in for? Oh, they just drew a counter spell. That's unfortunate. Chandra, you need more control. Just let me burn. I'm not too confident in our our uh, game three ability here, to be honest. Bunch of Kefnets, man. I'm so jealous. I think that's one thing. I think something I'm missing here is more Kefnet. I think Esper is really good. It's one of the best decks. All right, well, we had the Justice Strikes to be able to take out Drakes, but then they just had Kefnets. That wasn't ideal. Guess I'm gonna get binding in here. Even though I don't love it. Alright, so my so lesson learned is my deck is not my sideboard in particular, my sideboard does not have enough good cards against control. Tom Riggers is not even good. Yeah, I got some Blood Suns in here. For... Field of the Dead. I think Blood Sun's a lot better than Alpine Moon. Also, Blood Sun is good against Nexus as well because of their reliance on Blast Zone and um, Ascanta flipped. Yeah, but Alpine Moon is just, is so vulnerable, you know, one, it doesn't replace itself, but it's so vulnerable to Blast Zone. Like, you Alpine Moon for Field of the Dead, and they just go grab a Blast Zone and destroy it. What's up, Gustavo?
Let me think of Unchained Berserker in the sideboard against Esper. Not a, the red pro white creature. I don't like I don't like it. Wow, why is Ashiok so loud? Chill out, Ashiok. Ashiok's another good anti-scapeshift card if you uh, want. It's possible that you know that Ashiok's just better in my deck than Blood Sun because Ashiok would be more useful here. Because you know you can't it just stop scapeshift basically. Can't search your library. So it's possible that that's better than than Blood Sun. Say so. Not expecting spell pierce. And just doing this because Star of Extinction could blow up, uh, could kill a planeswalker with more loyalty. You know, like if they follow up with like Big Chandra or Ugin. I mean, I guess Ugin would probably destroy the binding, but... This isn't a fight you can win. Trust me, I have a plan. Mm, get rid of this thing. This is hardly my worst defeat. Rather have a veto in hand versus Scape Shift or a Blood Sun. Um, I mean, against specifically against the card Scape Shift, I'd rather Dovin's veto it. But against the deck in general, how it can find Field of the Dead's a lot more ways than just Scape Shift. I'd rather have Blood Sun. Sorry, I'm late. The so biggest fast. downside to Blood Sun, of course, is Little Teferi. Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. Or it might just be static. Only you know time. Talk to my lab assistant if you want a rematch. Ride the lightning. All right, so as Kant is going to flip. We're doing pretty good here. That should be should be game. Definitely wanted them to tab out for something big. Well, let's see. Well, I guess I don't have that much mana. Never mind. I don't have I don't have as much mana as I thought I did. So we know they're just drawing Kefnet. If I could just distill lightning into a potion. Yeah, that card's good. That's a good card to reveal off of Kefnet. Because, yeah, like, we, we will be able to copy Explosion here in the not-too-distant future. To do a lot of damage to them. But I need a little bit more land. Uh, one damage to you. Okay. 
We were going to be able to cast three Drawn from Dreams that turn. Because we would copy the Drawn from Dreams with Kefnet, and then we could minus two Ral, Drawn from Dreams again. So we could look at the top seven, choose two six times. <laughs> That's just... It's just six demonic tutors at that point. We just had actual six demonic tutors there. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, usually I like playing like five matches with a deck. But those matches were really long. We've, um, you know, we're almost two hours into the stream already. I'm going to go ahead and just... Just go with that here, so you have a good amount of time for everything else. Um, why six, not just three? Because well, because uh, Draw from Dreams chooses two cards. You look at the top seven and take two cards, and we we're going to be we could have cast it three times there if we wanted to, and so that would have been six six total cards. <laughs> Got to check the reserve list to see if six demonic tears are even allowed. So this deck is was. Honestly, this deck was pretty good. It had like some really good card advantage and everything. It was it was definitely pretty close. I feel like I feel like there's a few card card choices that uh, that could be better. Uh, the The main thing is like dealing with opposing planeswalkers is pretty tough. You know, that's why I have like the Star of Extinction in here. That's that's like the biggest hole. Um, obviously, we didn't play anything like where the Blood Suns did anything so they they weren't very good um i would say that two settles is probably is too much i think either zero or one the reason why i have settle in the deck is for all the aggro matchups uh mono white mono red mono blue you know like all those kind of things it's not that good against mono blue but it's fine against like the simic flash deck because you at least make them use a counter spell on their turn which is good for you which lets you untap and and hopefully play something on your turn uh you know, so it's good there. Uh, I really like it against vampires. This is like an an answer to a Danto Vanguard, which is a, a card that's really hard uh, for the for the deck that I have as as constructed. A Danto Vanguard is really difficult to beat. So settle was was certainly um, certainly in here because of a Danto Vanguard. But yeah, it's very good against vampires there. Um, but overall, I didn't have enough cards against other control decks. You know, like, if you if we see here, you know, like, a Lava Strike, a, a Justice Strike, a Deafening Clarion, a Bindings, they're really not that good against other control decks, and then Settles, Nova, Lyra's. That's a lot of cards against, like, various other creature decks. I didn't quite have enough against other control decks. Um, I'd say the Ixalan's Binding was pretty disappointing in general, even though I know it's that's it's very versatile against other decks. So that's, that's the one thing about the sideboard is, and, you know, I, I did have, instead of the two Blood Suns here, I did have one Big Chandra, one uh, Niv-Mizzet in my sideboard for, like, other control matchups. And honestly, maybe that's just the way to go. I'm not even sure if... Like, I'm not sure, like, how bad the Escape Shift matchup is. It's probably not great, but... Maybe it's really not that bad. I would I would take the Blood Suns back out and just play the the big Chandra and Niv Mizzet. For other for other control matchups. Um No, I like Ixalan's binding a lot more than Prison Realm because getting like one out of like there's a lot of like little uses for Ixalan's binding, but one is certainly against um Nexus decks and you you want you want the card that gets rid of Wilderness Reclamation or its Kanta against Nexus decks. Yeah, the the biggest problem with these colors in standard right now, I, I think, is is not efficient planeswalker removal. That's that's the one like Esper compared to this as we talked about before, Esper has discard and planeswalker removal that's really good, especially Elder Spell. Um, but even Noxious Grasp. You know, those two cards, Elder Spell, Noxious Grasp, like those are cards that would love to have access to here that we don't i think um i think that i think i also want i think i needed another kefnet in the sideboard instead of one of these lyras i know lyras are very very good against aggro but kefnet's really not that bad either but kefnet is awesome against in like the control matchup so i think that's that's another good sideboard change there 
The other thing, of course, could be trying to fit in the war bosses. That's that's another option to go against, like Esper decks, is, is fill the deck in with a bunch of war bosses in the sideboard. Yeah, I mean, you could get yeah, you could get more fries, which are good against Teferi's, but Fry doesn't kill Nissa, and Nissa's a problem. Like besides besides, you know, it's it's Teferi and Nissa are the problems, and so that's why Noxious Grasp is just perfect. It kills Nissa, kills Teferi. Um, no, the stream's not muted. Uh, I guess you can't hear that though. Um, yeah, Contempt. Obviously, we don't have access to that either. But I guess I guess Prison Realm is is good against Planeswalkers. Maybe I should try a little bit more Prison Realms. The reason why I have Justice Strike in here, for those of you that don't really uh, wonder, if you're wondering why I have Justice Strikes, that's honestly let's get let's do a Prison Realm. No Prison, I don't like enchantments against the Planeswalkers. Hmm. Anyway, the reason why I have Justice Strike in here is because of Nightpack Ambusher and the Blue Green Flash deck. It's it's like the perfect card against the blue green flash deck for two mana removal, uh, so that's why we have justice strikes. It kills everything in their deck, instant speed at two mana. So that's that's the main reason for justice strike here. Yeah, no, as, that's true that Esper doesn't have Nim as a Perun, and and honestly, that's that's it's not it's a pretty good card. So yeah, I'd I would want to put the Chandra and Nim as back in here. <clears throat> but there we go. That's Jeskai Control. Um, so if you are watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, as you see here, we, we're pretty close, but there there probably needs to be some tweaking with the deck. Like there's, you know, that that's just something that needs to happen with like these kind of control decks and everything. But it, it was a pretty sweet deck. We got to do some really cool things. Drawn from Dreams was awesome. Rao with Drawn from Dreams uh, was really cool. Got to do that a bunch. Um, but a pretty good little deck here. Uh, so again, if you're watching later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But that's it here for Jeskai Control. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.